I'm now going to demonstrate to you how to do vitrification of all stages, oocytes, embryos and blastocysts, using the RapidVit Omni Kit. The key to good results during vitrification is the right balance between the amount of cryoprotectants, the exposure time and the temperature. The timeframes in this protocol is critical and the recommended volume should not be changed. All procedures are performed on a heated stage to achieve 37 degrees Celsius in the media. Keep the lid on the dish whenever applicable to minimize the evaporation and when you transfer the oocytes or the embryos between solutions, do so with a minimal volume to avoid dilution and achieve complete rinse between the solutions. In order to do the vitrification, we will make use of the Rapid Vit Omni Kit consisting of three solutions, the Rapid Eye Kit consisting of the Rapid Straw and the Rapid Eye itself, the Vitrolife 5 Well Culture Dish, the Cryocane and Goblet, the Rapid Eye Sealer, and the Smart Box containing the liquid nitrogen. Place between 0.5 and 1 ml of the vitrification solutions in separate wells of the 5 Well Dish. Place the lid on the dish and warm to 37 degrees Celsius. Do not place any of the Omni vitrification solutions in a CO2 incubator. When using the Rapid Eye, make sure you label the right amount of Rapid Straws before you do the vitrification. Place your labels between the two black lines on the Rapid Straw. Transfer your oocytes or embryos from the culture into the first vitrification solution. Leave them there for a minimum of 5 minutes and up to 20 minutes. After 5 minutes in the first solution, prime your pipette with a second solution and move your oocytes or embryos into solution 2. The embryos or blastocysts will remain in the solution for 2 minutes. The oocytes will be in the solution for between 2 and 5 minutes and what we're looking for during this procedure is re-expansion of the oocytes. After moving the oocytes or the embryos into the second solution, place the rapid straw with the metal rod inside the smart box to cool down. You can now also place the rapid eye on a sterile surface, for instance a culture dish. When less than 30 seconds in the second solution remains, make two 50 microliter droplets of the third solution on a sterile, non-toxic surface, preferably a culture dish. Prime the pipette with a third solution and move your oocytes or embryos into the first droplet. Expel the remaining media outside of the droplet and prime your pipette again from the second droplet. Immediately transfer the oocytes or embryos into the second droplet. The total exposure time from entering the first droplet to vitrification should be between 30 and 45 seconds. Before loading the oocytes and embryos on the rapid eye, remove the metal rod from the rapid straw and discard. Collect the oocytes or embryos and keep them as close as possible together at the tip of the pipette. Load the oocytes or embryos in the hole of the rapid eye without overfilling or underfilling. Immediately after loading, place the rapid eye in the pre-cooled rapid straw in the smart box. Place your hand over the opening of the rapid straw to prevent that the rapid eye pops out. Seal the top of the rapid straw using the rapid eye sealer. Inspect the seal and make sure that the procedure was done correctly. Move the sealed straw into the goblet of the rapid eye cryocane. Make sure that you always work under the level of the liquid nitrogen. The bottom black mark on the rapid straw should always be submerged under the liquid nitrogen. The rapid eye cryocane can now be transferred to your long-term storage tanks according to your own protocols. I'm now going to demonstrate to you how to do warming making use of the Rapid Warm Omni Kit. What we're going to use is the Rapid Warm Omni Kit which consists of four solutions, the Rapid Eye Cutter, the Rapid Eye Forceps, the Vitrolife 5 Well Culture Dish and the Smart Box containing liquid nitrogen. Place between 0.5 and 1 ml of each of the warming solutions in separate wells of the 5 Well Dish. Place the lid on and let it warm to 37 degrees. Do not place the warming solutions in a CO2 incubator. Once you've identified the correct straw for the patient for warming, place the cryocane with a rapid straw into the smart box. Now very carefully remove the rapid straw and place it in the slot of the lid where the magnet is. Make sure that the rapid straw never leaves liquid nitrogen. 
the bottom black mark should always be submerged under the liquid nitrogen. Wipe the top of the straw so that you can clearly visualize the top of the rapid eye. Hold the rapid straw either with your fingertips or the rapid forceps. Lower the cutter over the top of the rapid straw and cut it so that you cut it just above the black mark of the rapid eye. Now, while holding it with your fingertips, reach in with the forceps and grab hold of the rapid eye and pick it up so that you can just get a good grip with your fingertips. Remove the lid of the dish and make sure it is ready to receive the rapid eye. In one quick and gentle move, move the rapid eye straight into the first solution. Wait until you see the oocytes or embryos are released before you remove the rapid eye from the first solution. The total exposure time from plunging the rapid eye into the first solution should be one minute. After this, follow the timings according to the protocol and move them through the different warming solutions. When you have completed the last step of the warming procedure, move your oocytes or embryos into the culture dish. Rinse them a few times in the culture media before you place them in the incubator according to your standard laboratory protocols.